Hi everyone, so this vlog is a little late. Uh, this is vlog number eight, by the way. Um, this past week has been uh, very difficult, very uh, hard to manage, um, but luckily I've made it through. So uh, we're doing very well. Uh, hopefully you are as well. And hopefully we are all getting through this season as, as the most difficult time uh, the virus is spreading. Um, but today, I want to talk about something more uplifting and something that I'm contributing to uh, the chase scene coming up. So a few things regarding the chase scene coming up. Um, we have different concepts that I'm applying to uh, this chase scene, what, what I've learned from the book. Um, and mostly it will involve the sound and image uh, transitions. Uh, some of the concepts I want to go over uh, within this is uh, the most common uh, form of transition is an instantaneous and complete transition from one source to another. And visually, this is called a cut. For sound, it's called a segue. Um, a segue is a rapid drop of the level of one source or fade out and a fade in of the next. So it's it got that fade in, fade out kind of thing going on. Um, one transition I typically use in editing is a dissolve or cross dissolve, as many of you have probably used in previous editing assignments with uh, videos in production. Um, the uh, cross dissolve and cross fade, that is with visual and audio. Uh, visually, it is termed the dissolve, but in terms of sound, it is a cross fade. And I've used this multiple times in uh, the final um, editing process of uh, the content we use. So dissolve or crossfade can soften an abrupt change or signal that um, in that time or place. It can be quick, almost imperceptible from a cut, or slow and very noticeable. Another concept I want to bring up is live editing. Now many audio productions, especially in musical performances, they're produced by live mixing, and much of what we see on television is produced by live switching. In post-production, these, uh, these structural approaches take the available options and make decisions about which sources will appear in what order and for what duration. Um, so understanding live mixing or switching also involves um, understanding the concept of signal flow, which refers to what information is going where or the sequence and direction of the signals. So it, you have to make sure that what you know what order, you want to know how long it's going to take place, um, what order these, uh, these switching, um, the signal flow and uh, the information flow as well. Now, one of the most important concepts um, in editing is preparation and planning. Uh, an editing process will take a much, much longer time without uh, proper preparation of like a plan. Um, and planning on how you are going to edit your content will make the process much easier before you actually dive in to start the editing. What, like, what material do you want to use and what order do you want to use it in? Uh, those are questions you should, you should ask yourself before going in before diving into editing. Um, now this process is crucial to accomplish time, and both time and cost efficient editing and it benefits everyone else uh, in the process as well. One more um, crucial concept I learned uh, is nonlinear editing. And to use a digital nonlinear editing system, sounds and images to be edited need to be in a digital format. And much of the material edited with nonlinear are now already digital, such as video recorded on a tapeless camera or cut from a CD or a digital still image. And many of these resources are available for us at our own disposal. Uh, have very much helped us in the editing process um, moving forward with it. So to discuss the uh, main topic of this video, um, we're gonna be discussing a little bit about the uh, chase scene coming up. 
And what I want to do is just go over like the storyboard I've prepared um, for this video. And I want to uh, really just clarify how, how the plot is going to go, um, what's going to happen and um, you know, how we're actually going to do it. So it involves uh, two characters. Uh, one character is going to be chasing after the other, and it's going to be held mostly outside. Um, but I'll go over the storyboard with you guys in a little bit. So just real quick, I'm going to give you guys a preview of uh, my storyboard so far. Um, it's just a preview. It's not going to be like the whole story or anything, but um, it will involve a car. It will, it will involve some money, and it will involve a... Um, a very energetic uh, chase scene. So this is the preview. Thank you guys for tuning into my vlog this week. Uh, it's not been the uh, best week thus far. However, we will make it through and I'm confident of this uh, despite what our circumstances may be. Um, there is hope for all of us and uh, it's gonna be a fun uh, fun time filming this next chase scene. So have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.